Hey, this is Warren Redlick. Short video on politics. I normally stay away from politics on this channel. I will stay away from politics in the future. I just want to talk briefly about what we're seeing in Afghanistan, American foreign policy, American military. So I'm only going to do this, I think, once. We're going to get back to technology and Tesla and SpaceX and so on in the near future. If you like this topic, please check out in the links below. I've created a new channel on Locals to talk about these things in a free speech platform where I don't feel comfortable talking about politics much on YouTube. And I think a lot of the audience for the tech doesn't want to hear it. Anyway, with that regard to what we've seen in Afghanistan, what we've seen again is that American foreign policy fails. America's foreign policy of sending U.S. troops all over the world, bombing countries, occupying countries, trying to control the world, does not work. We have 1,000 times the GDP of Afghanistan we have 10 times the population, and we failed to win that war. We can't do it. We lost Vietnam in the same way, the same, and it ended in the same way, as a disaster. There's one way forward. There's only one way forward that makes sense, which is we need to bring all U.S. troops home from all over the world as soon as possible. This is just the beginning. We have to recognize it doesn't work, and it costs an outrageous amount of money and our government kills thousands of people every year. We killed over 100,000 people, hundreds of thousands of people in Afghanistan. What did it get? We killed 3 million people in Vietnam. What did it get? We need a government that stops killing people. We need a government that stops wasting money on a military that, look, I'm not trying to come down on the soldiers. The soldiers go in, they're doing their best. But the practical reality is our government has been lying to us for decades and it uses that to support an overlarge military to wield power and to funnel money to special interests, military contractors, and so on. It's time to end it. And the only way we end it as American voters, I'm sorry for the people who aren't American, you don't get to vote in America. Probably better that you vote where you are. But those of you in America, you have to stop voting for people who support this ridiculously large military that we do not need that bombs people and kills people in countries we shouldn't be killing people. This is not what America was supposed to be at the founding. This is not what George Washington envisioned. Read his farewell address to the nation. Avoid entangling foreign alliances. We need to bring all our troops home. We need to demilitarize. This will free up the U.S. economy. China is rising. China is growing more powerful. Their economy is growing. And then China's economic growth is great for China and for the world. This is not the problem, but the practical reality is we are no longer the world's largest economy. Soon we will no longer be the world's largest military power, and we can step away from that gracefully, recognize the future. If you look 20, 30, 40 years down the road, it's not going to get better. It's going to get worse. The only way out of this to a better future is to demilitarize, literally end the U.S. military. We do not need a military at all. Bring all our troops home from all foreign countries, end the U.S. military entirely, which will free up the U.S. economy. We spend so much money on the military. It takes so much out of our economy. Our economy could be so much better, so much more efficient, so much more productive, so much better for everyone if we weren't wasting all this money. And we wreck lives. We wreck lives in other countries. We wreck our soldiers. So many of our soldiers come back traumatized by the experience. We can do better. The way we do better is by insisting, anytime you talk to a politician who is running for national office in particular, you have to insist that we have to demilitarize, that that is the number one policy issue. They will try to distract you with, he's evil, or he's evil, or this guy's a bad guy, or this guy's... The, they, they will constantly throw insults at each other as if somehow the Republicans are better than the Democrats, or the Democrats are better than the Republicans. They both suck. They're both evil. They are both wrecking this country. Now, I would say vote libertarian. That's my take, that libertarians in general are going to be better. Who knows if libertarians actually won elections, maybe they'd screw up too. But my point is very simply, insist that any candidate you vote for is clear and firm that they are going to bring all U.S. troops home from every country in the world and demilitarize so we can stop wasting money on this ridiculous military we do not need and does not do on net. It does not do good in net. Overall, it's a negative. It's a negative for the U.S. economy. It's a negative for the world. Let the world take care of itself. Really simple example. I love to ask people this question. How many countries do you think we have troops in? 
Nobody knows. It's over 170. There's only there's only like 195 countries in the world, and we have troops that are over 170 of them. How many countries are we bombing? As far as I know, we're bombing eight countries. Did you know that? How many people does our government kill every year? I would like to have a government that doesn't kill people. I think that's a reasonable position. So I'm asking you again, this is the last time, as far as I'm concerned, this is the last time I'm going to talk about this on my YouTube channel. I'm asking people, if you're interested in hearing more about this, please check out my Locals channel in the links below. It is a subscription, a paid subscription only channel because I has to, I can't speak freely in public because it can come back to lead to censorship on YouTube or Patreon. So on a, behind a paywall on Locals, the, the speech is protected. The fact that it's not public makes it a little bit more protected. So I can say things that point out, it's called the daily lie. We are being lied to constantly, and I want to make sure that we recognize how we're being lied to. We have a better understanding of the lies. We have a better way of reacting to it. They have been lying to us about the war on drugs. They have been lying to us about our borders. They've been lying to us about everything. The only way out of this is we have to insist on honesty, and we have to insist, we have to identify what's the most important issue that we need to focus on. And they will constantly throw distractions at us will constantly hit us with gay rights, abortion, whatever, whether it's pro-life or, or pro-choice, whether it's pro-gay or anti-gay, whether whatever the cultural war is of the moment, it's a distraction from the biggest problem in America today, which is we are spending way too much money on way too much military that we don't need killing people all over the world, and it needs to stop. And you can stop it by making sure that every politician you speak with that every politician you communicate with, that every special interest that you communicate with, they come to you and they say, we need to talk about unions. We need to talk about, okay, first we need to talk about the military. Until we fix this, we're screwed. And the only way out of it is if we end it. The idea that there's some halfway choice that we keep troops in one place and not another, Germany does not need our help. South Korea does not need our help. South Korea's economy is 100 times the size of North Korea's economy. South Korea has much bigger population. Their people are healthier. They don't need our help against North Korea. They can take care of themselves. We can't fix the world's problems. We can't save Taiwan from China. We didn't save Hong Kong from China. We're not gonna save Taiwan from China. If these are the big things that they're gonna scare us about, there's nothing we can do. And this is a really critical point. You will consistently hear voices telling you, China's the bad guy, Russia's the bad guy, North Korea's the bad guy, the Taliban are the bad guys. The bad guys are in Washington, D.C. The enemy of the American people is Washington, D.C. It has been. It will be. The only way out of this is if we bring Washington, D.C. under control. We can't fix China. We can't fix Asia. We can't fix Africa. We can fix here. The only way we do it is if we do it. Don't let them play Republican versus Democrat games. Don't let them play liberal versus conservative games. If you think about it, you understand this is the central issue that has been destroying America for decades. With Vietnam, with Afghanistan, so many other places that we have messed around in, caused problems. You don't even know what countries we're bombing. You don't even know where we have troops. It's everywhere and it needs to stop. So, rant off. Please check out the channel on Locals. Please, of course, support this channel on Patreon if you choose to. I promise I'm going to get back. To, I'm already working on two different videos about tax, Tesla, Elon, all that stuff. We're going back to it now. Hopefully this is the last time I vent on the YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching.